folks. This is Lynn. I'm going to show you a few of our fish tanks. This is a guppy tank. Sorry for jiggling. I'm trying to get it so you can see all the babies. Some of them are so tiny. That's what you can see the plant hanging upside down, and that way the babies can get in there and hide. It's just a very busy tank. But I just wanted to share with you um, <clears throat> tank by tank. This is actually this one is actually on a stand. Um, there's a tw 10 gallon underneath of it, and I have it um, needing to clean it. I have it shut down. I had lost a couple fish and have not had the chance to tear it completely down. But I think you can see how busy it is. And I hate it because there's real teeny tiny little fish scooting around. Some are very pretty. You could, the real, the orangish red one is rare, stands out a lot. There's a couple there at the bottom. There's some dark, dark ones there. I think you can see them on the bottom there. And we have a, I have a tank that's open. I'm going to show it that there's nothing in yet because we're going to need to do some rearranging. Once these guys grow a little bit more, I'm going to have to move them to a bigger tank. I just fed, so a lot of the fish have come to the top now, so you can see them eating. I thought maybe I could draw them off the bottom so you could see them better. <clears throat> we started this whole fish project last year. We have a total of 12 tanks of different sizes. With Buck's Health, this was a great indoor um, project that we could, um, our adopted boys were so gracious to help get us fish, also build a stand, which you'll be seeing here in a little bit, and that way at least indoors it gave us some live entertainment, literally. Alright, now we're going to go to another tank here. Okay. Be back this is the empty time. tank I talked about. It's a hexagon tank and uh, we have to decide for sure. We're going to need to separate some fish. We had a problem. This tank leaked. I had to drain it down and repair it and we have it back up and running now and it's been running in long enough that we can, it's healthy and a good tank to put other fish in, but we had had this one sprung a leak. The other tank I'll be showing you here shortly, actually the fish broke the seal in the tank so I had to take them out and put them in with other fish and we're going to have to move things around here again. Okay, I'm going to the next room for the rest with uh, well, more tanks. Well, you're going to be right. able to see because of the lighting in the house right now. But this is the one tank I was speaking of. The two really large fish are Paku and the one white fish sort of in the center of the screen and the other fish in the upper right corner are Oscars. Well, the two Oscars broke another large hexagon tank I had. They broke the seam carrying one in there. So these guys all got put together. They're going to be getting separated here soon and hopefully within the next little bit we will be buying a rather large aquarium for the Paku. They are growing leaps and bounds and need <clears throat> need a new home but for right now we had to put everybody together while I could repair the uh, <laughs> the one tank because I, I didn't know what else to do now this is what I had spoken of earlier our boys actually um, built a stand we didn't have one to hold both of our large tanks in the bottom is a water cow goby which is hiding in the corner right now and you can see the shadow of the Florida Gar. In a previous video, I actually got some pretty good pictures of these guys. The Gobi, like I said, is in the corner. He isn't going to cooperate right now. I fed them earlier, so he's probably taking a nap. But that's that tank. And then we have another 
set of tanks, two 20 longs. In the bottom tank are three piranha. Like I said, we're going to be doing some rearranging here very soon. These are red belly piranhas. And in this top tank are two albino paku. When we got these guys, they were the size of, I'd say, a dime, literally. And now they're the size of, well, the one's actually a little bigger than the other. It's hard, it's hard for me to say exactly what size. Over silver yeah, I was going to say over the size of a silver dollar. And they're eating machines, all these guys are. And there's a little better shot of the red belly piranhas. All these guys are very entertaining. Now, the tank that you're going to see here is the hexagon tank. It's really quite large that I had to repair that the Oscars in there getting rowdy cracked the side seam. So right now, there's a Placosimus and a Jack Dempsey. The Clausimus is in the back on the left side. And the Jack Dempsey, I'm not sure where he's at. He's in there somewhere. I just fed him a bit ago. Oh, I see him. He's in the back corner. He's hiding. Nope. Oh, well, you can see him a little bit. There he is. He has a full tummy too, so he's not interested in cooperating. Goldfish tank. Sort of had it. That's the first tank we had from was given to us by our oldest son. And it's sort of dwindling in fish now too. I may end up putting these goldfish out in our uh, water garden and using this tank for a home for some other fish and also this is just a little feeder fish tank or backup for in case anything happens to any of the rest just something so I can stick a fish in it's always good to sort of Get have back a back to the Paku they're sort of hiding in the back corner I do have two pretty male betas on the kitchen table and that pretty much concludes our fish tanks. Like I said, we have one I didn't show you because I need to, there's nothing in it. One that's empty, one that only has one fish. So like I said, we'll be doing some rearranging here coming up in the next few months and we will share our changes with you when that happens. Hope you all have a great day.